Today is my fifth day now in Charleston and I'm beginning to start to settle in. And this morning I started unpacking many of my books in order to find something that I'd be able to share with you in time for this weekend, in time for Shabbos. But I realized that I, I really didn't need any of my chumashim, I really didn't need to search in the weekly Parsha because I, all I needed was my sitter. At the end of this week's Parsha, we read Vehaya im Shamoa, which is what's found in the second paragraph of our Shema recited each morning and each evening. The second paragraph of Shema Vehaya im Shamoa Tishma'u tells us about listening to the commandments of God, and it's found at the end of this week's Parsha. And in the text of Vehaya im Shamoa, we're told about the importance of Talmud Torah, of studying the words of Torah, and of teaching Torah. And we're told, Vilimadatem osam espinechem ledaber bam, that we should teach the words of Torah to our children, or as our tradition explains, not just to children, to our students, to everyone, ledaber bam, to speak about them, when you're dwelling in your house. And I know this may sound familiar to, to last week's idea that I shared, but there's an interesting, you know, te- uh, pronoun change here. Again, filimadatem osam is in the plural form, that you should teach them, that you in the plural form should teach you in the plural form. We should teach many people the, uh, the Torah. But then when we're told where to do it, we're told b'shivtecha b'veisacha. When you, singular, are dwelling in your house. And don't worry, not every one of my sermons and, and Torah thoughts are going to be about grammar. But again, with the grammar here, what's going on? If it's in the plural form, teaching Torah to the masses, why are we saying b'shivtecha b'veisacha? Why are we saying in, in your house in the singular? It should be in your houses, that we should study Torah in our houses. So I'm not sure this is what the Torah was referring to, but at least homiletically, I thought that this very much speaks to our, our current situation, that we really, all of us, we'd love to be gathering together again. We'd love to be meeting in the synagogue. We'd love to be praying together, gathering together, learning together. But unfortunately, right now in the current climate, this is, it's not safe for us during the pandemic. And what we're told is that we need to learn Torah, even even when you, in the singular, are dwelling in your house, even when we're, we're alone at our homes. And I know many of us can be lonely. We're missing spending time with people. We're missing spending time in our synagogue. But we need to understand that studying Torah, being engaged in our religion is something that needs to take place even when we're at home. We're all asking the same questions. Many, I haven't been able to meet most of the synagogue yet, but there's few people that I've, I've met and spoken with. Everybody's wondering when our services will begin again, what will be for the high holidays. And I'm asking the same questions too. We, we're still trying to, to figure things out. But we need to remember that we need to, to study Torah. We need to remain engaged with our religion, even when we're sitting in our homes, even when we're unable to attend the synagogue. And we're hoping this, this coming week we're going to be restarting some of the Zoom programming that we've had in the past. We'll be beginning this week with a Mincha Marav service. I think it's at 7.50 p.m. You could check the BSBI buzz to double check the time. But I think it's at 7.50 p.m. We'll be, we'll be praying together and I'll be sharing a, 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 a Torah thought between Mincha and Marav. And I hope to offer some more learning opportunities and some more opportunities through Zoom in the, in the weeks to come. Hopefully there'll be an announcement coming next week. And it's just a reminder for all of us, we all hope that we'll be able to, to join again together in the synagogue very soon. That we'll all be able to, to study together, to learn together, to pray together, to gather together, to eat together, to laugh together, to do everything together. But for the time being, when we're dwelling in our homes alone, I hope to be able to help provide meaning to each of you. Feel free to reach out to me. You can call me at the show office. You can email me, rabbi at bsbisynagogue.org. I look forward to, to meeting many of you. I um, started making phone calls. I have only the tip of the iceberg. I look forward to, to speaking to many of you. And I look forward to getting to know you both during this time now and hopefully very soon when we're able to gather together again. I wish you all a, a wonderful Shabbos.